Hey guys, welcome back. I'm really excited to show you another place this week. I have an incredible story for you guys this week and I'm eager to share it with you guys. I'm sitting here in front of the piano of Mr. Marcel. I'm sitting inside of his living room in his beautiful castle in France. I'm going to tell you a story of his life. It's exciting, guys. So what Mr. Marcel did was quite unique. On his old days, he just said, let's do it. What have I got to lose? I'm sitting here alone in this castle. Why, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this to myself? And what he did was just packed his packs and he just left. And what did he do? He, go on, he went on a world trip, just went around the world, experienced different things, made the best of his last days and left his castle and all his money behind. Everything is still inside of this castle. I'm gonna, honest with you, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's a lot, it's trashed in the castle, but I just wanted to tell the story to you guys. And I think it's, there are still some beautiful parts in it. There's even a wine cellar down below. And uh, all around the castle, you can find artifacts of him being a wine distributor and a winemaker. So that's very, very unique. And uh, upstairs are some bedrooms left. I'm really excited to show you guys. Come along. We're gonna take a little tour around the place, show you all the beautiful things. We're gonna avoid the trash and we're gonna try to construct the life of Mr. Marcel. So he was of course a wine distributor and all around the place you can see there are a lot of wine bottles left. In this room, for example, <laughs> it's very difficult walking in here. There's a lot of junk left. But you can see there's all wine in these, these shelves over there, all beautiful wines. There is a stack of stickers, wow. And these stickers were actually for his wines. Grand Vin du Bordeaux, this is the grand wine of Bordeaux. You can see this is the wine that he used to produce. He would put these stickers on his wine. Very unique. You see this all. You can see all on the floor, Johnny. There are all these stickers of different wines. Wow. This, this chateau, just this castle, just presents wine. Everything about France is wine and, and cheese. So <laughs> you can see in this room, there are a lot of stickers left of different kind of wines. Wow, that's incredible. Look at that vacuum there on the floor. It's also really cool. This one is really old school. Upstairs. Yes, let's go upstairs. So um, this castle got built in 1910 and by 2006, we uh, assume that's the last dates that we find inside of the castle. Then uh, Marcel decided to go on his world trip and leave behind the castle. That's a beautiful way to end your life. Just take a last trip, just go around the world. What's the bathroom here? Yeah, the bathroom over here. <laughs> oh no, you're talking about the bath. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just pronounced it, mispronounced it. There's a map inside of it. Wow, maybe he was planning out his trip inside of his bath. This is a map of France. Hmm. So something interesting here. Yeah, this was an interesting bedroom. Let's go over here. Wow, this one is actually quite nice still. I quite love this bedroom. Wow, over here on the fireplace, there's a wedding picture. I'm gonna hide the names of Marcel and his wife. You can see this was Mr. Marcel and his wife there. It's very beautiful. And in every single room of this place, you have these, these insane uh, fireplaces, of course. That's very typical for France. And on the outside of the place, Johnny, you can see these chapels or these little, yeah, little towers. And inside of the place, these are all vanities and uh, little washrooms. So that's quite cool, the quite good use of space. Johnny, Johnny, come look, come look. <laughs> Just looking uh, here at the toilet and even, no, don't film inside of the toilet, it's very dirty. But uh, even the toilet inside of this place is designed. That's when you know that people are rich. Incredible. So a lot of these bedrooms in the side of this place are trashed. We're not going to film all of them, but one of this one is very, very pretty. And uh, I think this used to be the master bedroom. It's the biggest one of them all. You can see double bed over here. Maybe for my son and his wife. You can see over there we have some shelves with some books left. Oh, there's even handwritten notes. Well, you have to be careful with the rubbish in here. All written in French. 
It's very beautiful. <laughs> Look at this, Johnny. Came all from up there. Oh my gosh. You were on the window, there's a little butterfly. Come on, little boy. Oh no, he's trapped. Just take him by the wings. Very carefully. I'm gonna put him outside. Fly, baby, fly. That's beautiful. Save the animals, guys. Let's go to the other bedroom. Let's film that one. Let's see what's left in there. Go in front of me, Johnny. Not a beautiful bedroom. I think he had around five children. That's how many bedrooms I have counted. There are two more bedrooms, but they are completely trashed. Inside of this one, also a white marble fireplace. And every uh, room, you see this room is white. And a little tower, you have a tower on every room. Or a little chapel, or how do you call it? Um, they are painted in the color of the room. It's very unique. Yeah, wow. Also like the wallpaper. Have a look at it. It's so strange that there are everywhere are fireplaces in every room because there are heaters at the walls. Yeah, Jolly, but the building has been built in 1910. And I think at that time, 1910, the radiators were not yet installed inside of the building. So that's why they probably had fireplaces to heat up the room. I think that's the possible. That's the yeah. And then later, around maybe around 1940, 1950, they might have installed these uh, radiators. I think that's the case. Well, Johnny, come over, have a look over here. We have this vintage picture. Quite left this one. Really big fan of history. Wow. There's even a third floor in this castle. And, uh, but all these rooms, they are just trash. Not worth showing to you guys. There's one nice room left over here. Let's have a look at it. This used to be a child's bedroom, I think. You have this little, yeah, I don't know how you call it in English, but uh, in Dutch we call it a kinderzitje. Just <laughs> then you know a name for it, maybe call me, <laughs> tell me in the comment section. But yeah, <sighs> beautiful building, beautiful story. And uh, I want to just thank you for watching it till the end. It's, it's so incredible that you stay till the end. Thank you very much. Me and Jolly really appreciate that. Um, if you like the building, please like, subscribe and comment. If you like the story, support us on Patreon. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah. We'll just, see you at the next adventure. We'll just see you at the next adventure. I love you guys. We love you. Bye bye. So cool that these people used to have straw in their beds. Can you imagine that? Oh, and these springs. Also really cool. Beep, 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 beep.